Hey Sagittarius, Tourmaline Tarot, we're going to do your weekly read and see what's going on. And we're taking whatever comes out. So we got Four of Wands, that's nice. The Devil. And Temperance, there you are. So, I'm going to throw it out there. Is there something that you want that um, doesn't feel like it's in your highest good? But at the same time, it's like something you want. Or you could just literally be a homebody who's like, nope, out there's the devil. So what is this devil about? Prince of Wands. Okay. All right. Giving you all those looks. Five of Cups. Six of Swords. If you don't move away from something, you're going to regret it. Because if you're dancing around in this Four of Wands energy, are you kidding? Hold on. Hold on here. Sagittarius. Go with me on this. I was going to restart the reading because I was like, this is kind of going funky. But is there something... Like, did you block somebody or stop dealing with somebody... And you're second guessing yourself and you're thinking, should I unblock them? Should I? I know this sounds very specific. But you have seven of wands reversed, queen of swords, eight of swords reversed, and the lovers. Are you going to let something back in? Because back here, like, you have this four of wands. You're starting out from a good place, but then this devil shows up and this prince of wands. It's like... You know, Jared Leto, my so-called life popping up like, hey, what's up? And like Claire Danes is like, I don't know, Jordan Catalano. And I'm sorry, like I'm totally going 30 years back on that show. But you know what I mean? Um, somebody could be saying like they had regrets or you regret moving away from it. There's something that you're like, should I have done that? And you're considering undoing what you did. Oh, Sagittarius. Um, it's not giving me an outcome of what happens if you do it, but there's something you removed yourself from that you're entertaining letting back in. Okay? So what is this Four of Wands here that Sag is going on? Oh, okay. I don't usually go the Twin Flame route, but do you feel like somebody was your Twin Flame, the whole 11-11, blah, blah, blah thing? And I'm not knocking Twin Flame, but I've just seen one too many people stay in crappy situations because they're like, it's my Twin Flame. I'm like, no, they're just an asshole. Like, I hate, I hate to tell you that. Um, so, you know, if it applies, you know if it applies. Like, if it's Twin Flame, like, you know if it's Twin Flame. You know, it's not just like this. If you know, you know, is what I'm saying. So, King of Wands. You're thinking about doing something. You feel like, I have control of the situation. It'll be fine. I have control of it. But, like, there's a reason why this person wound up, you know, left on red or blocked or just shut down. You're still holding on to it in some way. Sagittarius. What are you doing? Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Somehow you're not moving on from this and you feel like it, well, okay, was, did I, was I too hasty? Like, did I, you know, block this person? Like, was it as bad as I thought it was? Or were they as jerky as they really were? Like, you're second guessing. And if this isn't you, this is someone else second guessing. Like, I shouldn't have done that. And you're like, I don't know. Okay. So give me some advice for Sag here. This is, this is getting sticky. All right, so we have three of cups. There could still be other commitments going on. Also, seven of pentacles and ace of cups reversed. Hold on, I'm going to say what I'm going to say in a second. Ace of wands. Somebody wants to talk to you. They can't get to you. They're waiting to get to you. Three of cups is sometimes an apology for me um it, but there's also like a reunion aspect to it 
but there still could be too many people. Like this person could still be involved. If best case scenario, they want to come make peace. But with that peace, you know what I mean? There's a little something hanging on. You know what I mean? So like they want to say something and it's like the seven of pentacles waiting. It's like they're right outside the door. Like you just lock the bottom lock. You didn't deadbolt it yet. Like they're, they're still, a, they still think there's a chance, you know? So Ace of Wands, what is that about for Sag? The Magician. Okay. So we have some Gemini action that's coming in hard, but also just watch for the manipulation factor. Nine of Cups, good gravy. Okay. I was trying to be like, maybe this isn't good for you. <laughs> it's like, well, guess what? Um, give me one more on this Nine of Wands before I say what I'm going to say. One more. The Empress. Just watch what they're telling you is not hokum. If it's not going to disappoint you. If they're really selling something, just keep your eyes peeled and make sure it's not the manipulative aspect of the magician. Because I think you're going to be, they're going to really come at you. But I think, I hope your BS detector is back on. But I feel like you didn't get closure. You didn't get to get done with this. Even though you might have been the one that had to block them or move away from it. Or just get the hell out of Dodge in some way. But it's like they're just right on the other side of that door. Like, hello. Tink, tink, tink. Sagittarius. So, Sag. Keep your wits about you, and um, like I said, make sure your BS detector is set to on, all right? Make sure everything passes the sniff check. So that's what I have, Sag, and I'll talk to you later.